Hey everyone, this is the Not RT Podcast, the Nerds of the Round Table. Today we are not round, we're more like a triangle, because there are only three people here. There's I, Sam, there's the wonderful Alice, Hey. and there's the slightly ADD-ridden Ryan. ADHD. ADHD, excuse me. Technically I, they're going to switch it to only, I think, ADD, one of the two, they're only going to switch it to that. Oh yeah. All right. So uh, I have something I want to talk about. Who heard the story about the iPhone 4G? I did. You told us during lunch yesterday. Okay, Ryan. Did I you hate the iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> no, but did you hear about it? Like, how, no, this I is not. this is apparently their new marketing campaign. I try not to read up on stuff I hate. So, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently Apple, who has been very um, like under wraps about everything they do is trying a new marketing campaign where they leave a new cell phone in a bar in LA and they see what happens. So far it's sold to an online internet news source and it's fucking awesome. But Apple won't tra- claim responsibility for it. They're not saying that it's uh, actually the iPhone, the new iPhone. Typical. Yeah, I mean Apple always does that. Uh, so let's talk about something else. Let's okay. I have a much due tribute to two things. One, Assassin's Creed 2. That's way you. I know. It was late. It is late, man. And the other one is Star Wars Force Unleashed. Don't blame me for this lateness. Let's Sorry. Off number two of Force Unleashed. I'm the I'm only one with the computer that records. Hold on. I'm speaking about Assassin's <laughs> Creed 2 because I have something to say. Number one, awesome. It is Awesome! I don't want to swear. Cursing is bad. But anyways. I just put a giant beep that lasts probably ten minutes. Awesome! Anyways. um, So, I finished the game in about, I want to say, a week and a half. Two weeks, maybe. Honestly, I thought it was amazing. They could have made it more complicated. They could have, you know... I guess it's all the other little stuff you do that makes the game, like, extensive. But the main plot... They could have ex- they could have done more with it, but overall it was great. Secondly, Star Wars Forces Unleashed. Have not played the game. Tarjay doesn't carry the game anymore. Screw you, Tarjay. Tarjay, it's a French store. What? <laughs> Tarjay, screw you. You had Forces Unleashed, freaking like manifested on a single nice shelf. Freaking tribute nice to that. Star Wars. Forces Unleashed, right there. And then what? What? You switch it out with Pokemon Gold Silver? Fine. I understand. It's amazing. But you know what? Everyone already bought that game. Get rid of it. I want my Star Wars. Everybody who bought that game bought it on the day. Because they had been waiting so long. Yeah, like, honestly. Oh my god. An updated graphic version of a game that doesn't work anymore. Did you hear about that, by the way? Yeah, I did. Apparently, like, the old game cartridges of Pokemon, like, uh, red, blue, yellow, gold, and silver, don't work. Well, I really don't want to get onto this topic, because you know I hate that. I game. know you hate Pokemon, but <laughs> apparently don't, they don't work because they had batteries inside the actual cartridge what? that burned out. The F? So technically, unless you buy something out of the box, like somebody, for some reason, has kept a mint condition gold or silver version up to this point... It won't save. Like, you can play the game, but it just won't save. Just note, um, Sam, we don't know where he gets his information. It could be from, like, the crackpot on the street for all we know. Actually, I was talking to the naked guy behind the school. He was like, he also told me this interesting way of how to get rid of, uh, uh, what's it called? Appendicitis. He said you're supposed to grate cheese on and then what? just see what happens. Okay, we're, ca- we're editing this out because it's just... I'm the editor. I can do what I want. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, what else? What other recent game? Oh, right, Mass Effect 2. Two. I also want to play that, but I haven't because my parents refuse to let me buy games that are rated M on a daily basis. Unless you borrow it, it's an amazing game. Oh. Uh, I'm, eight, I'm almost 18. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. So yeah. I heard a new debate on the whole sex scene in Mass Effect scenario. Oh. That I, I heard that in the first one... It's kind of implied that they have sex, but in the second one, it's more like they're you know throwing shit off a table and they're ripping clothes off one another. Like it's it's Lots just a fa- it's like a very cha- like changing. Experience. I can't believe we're talking about this. All right, yeah, we are, if you've played game Mass game. Effect, then you know what we're talking about. You don't need second any. one, and if not, you're a dickhead. Second one, amazing storyline though. Honestly, really good. 
Yeah, I've only played the beginning of the second one. It's really good. Uh, yeah. There is a game I want to shout out at this point. It's way, way, way overdue. My favorite game ever. Like, I just picked it up a couple days ago for like 20 bucks at GameStop. Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is the prettiest, best game I've ever played. I used to play it on a, like, a really bad TV, really tiny TV. Still amazing, and it pisses me off that the iPad is creating a side-scroller Mirror's Edge. Sob. Sob. How would that work? But, um, yeah, side-scroller. Back to Mass Effect for a second, it can get a little annoying when you're creating a new character because you have to watch the beginning cutscene again. So if you're a person that likes to try out a whole bunch of different classes, It'll get kind of annoying because the beginning cutscene's like. Five well, if you're really on. dedicated to it, yeah, I mean, like dedicated. you'll get you'll get it. You'll get it, you'll like it seeing the same scene over like twenty times. But. Well, if you're like me, you'll have your computer down there and you'll just be like, "Hey, what's on YouTube? Oh, new Shane well, Tards video." I don't have a computer. Oh, by the way, this is just kind of somewhat of a disclaimer, and we're gonna probably add this into whatever description. If you don't like what we're talking about, screw you. Go watch something else. We don't give a shit. But yeah, because I think we all live in a generation where people are going to nitpick it. Oh, you said something homosexual. Oh, you said something that was anti-homosexual. Oh, you did this. Oh, you did that. You know something? I am so tired of those people. people. Because they are hiding behind the freedom of speech instead of confronting it and instead of embracing the freedom of speech. People bitch a lot nowadays. Yeah, like people bitch a lot. And we have to pick up one extra stop of people that we don't know and they pick up. Never. It's like, no, we don't have room. No, we can't stop for them. I just no. realized, okay, on YouTube... You're gonna love your fellow man. You're gonna see, like, videos of, like, the cutest kitty ever. There's always gonna be that one person that's just like, this is so freaking stupid. Why am I watching this? Yeah, for, for example, there's a uh, blog I watch every day. Uh, I always click like because I just like the guy. He's a very funny guy. He's a very nice guy. This is the Shea Tarts, by the way. Go check them out. They're hilarious. There's a family. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, I always click like, and now with the new underbar feature of YouTube, uh, I look at it, and it says, you know, this many liked it, this many hated it. And there's only, like, 18 people who hated it out of maybe, like, 25,000. Oh, that's cool. Well, like, the 18 people, I'm just knowing that they've left a comment, like, man, this is fucking retarded, because they have daddy issues. And they're like, wow, this guy's, like, he's a good dad. I've come to realize, no, 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 I've come to realize... They are either really young or just really old without a life. Yes, that's true. I have so. to say something. I hate the new YouTube design. I, I, hate I it completely so agree. It's I don't go on. Computer serves YouTube. no purpose whatsoever to put that new design on. It's I think the I think the widescreen feature is good. I think the high quality feature is good. The enlargement feature is good. Annotations are terrible, and I think that. The new design of it all, like the new uploading. You can't stuff. do shuffle, so when I'm trying to listen to music on there, I can't do shuffle. Oh, well, you actually can just call them uh, disco. disco. Disco? Disco. That's how you do it. Disco. You just have, it basically what it does is uh, it is keeps. It it keep, no, no, no. It keeps you. It's just a button that says disco. It opens up a window to the left where your video is playing, and then it says, okay, if you like that, you'll also like some of this stuff. You click on what you like, and it adds it to a playlist, and then it plays it automatically. Well, it plays it in order of what you click, though. Before, you could do a shuffle. So if you already had your own playlist, then it shuffled through that playlist. But they took the shuffle button out. From what I know, I haven't seen one. I've looked around for it. Just also, I hate 720p. 720p? 720p, because uh, the new, like, the new high quality is that you can oh. set it to one of four high qualities. You can set it to 320, which is standard, uh, 420, which is relatively high def, a lot of people use it. Uh, you can set it to 720, which is basically useless because 420 and 720 are so similar, nobody yeah. can tell the difference. And then there's 180, where it's like you're in the computer. And you're like, oh. help me, help me, get out. This is like a bad version of Tron. Which, by the way, <laughs> Tron 2.0 is coming out. Yes! Tron guy, we love you. Well, I do. I, I never saw that. Awesome. Oh my god. Daniel Josh did a retribution for Tron guy. Anyways, real quick. For the Android Behold 2, for... No, 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 let's not go back. On. No, I'm Come talking about on. YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube. Okay. Why do you start off with shitty quality? Why, when you watch YouTube, start off with a good quality, and if it stops, or like halfway there, fine, I'll switch it over to the shitty quality. Start with the good quality. Okay, so do we want to talk about TV shows? Yes. All right, let's talk about TV shows. Okay. V is good. 
Vi people, people haven't.